Good morning. Um, this little video is in response to a couple of requests I've had from people asking to see my Telecine setup or non setup as I call it, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, what I wanted from Telecine was to be able to use a projector that could Telecine whenever I needed to, but then could revert to being a normal projector without me having to do too much to it. So I've not really modified anything in any way um, and I, if I show you the equipment that I'm using I, I think you'll see what I mean. Okay this little piece of equipment is the way that I get the footage from the camcorder into the computer for digitizing. Um, it's an easy cap they're available on eBay and when I had a look yesterday they were £4.99, so less than a fiver. Um, very quick and easy to use, and this gets the footage from the camcorder to the PC. Okay, here's the projector I'm going to be using. Now, I recommend any of the UMIG 800 series as being ideal for Telecine. Um, there's a few features that they have that, that lend themselves to good Telecine. You can see here that. The only real sort of change that I've made is that I've got a little LED bulb in there, a low wattage LED bulb. The advantages of this are that it doesn't provide too much light. Um, you don't need too much light for Telecine. And also it runs cool, so there's no danger of any film getting burned if I lower the speed of the projector. Now just a word or two about transfer speeds. I've taken the back off the projector to show you something now. Um, if you're in the US then you're going to want to transfer your film if you're doing it in real time at around 20 frames per second. Um, that's for camcorders that work usually at 30 frames per second on the NTSC system. In the UK where we're on PAL system um, ideally we want to be transferring at 16.666 frames per second and this isn't really achievable with a standard projector that has speeds that are variable between 18 and 24 frames per second so what we need to do is to vary that range a little bit and you'll see that inside the projector this little flag here is um, 60 cycles or 50 hertz and that's in the 50 hertz position that's in the 60 cycles position and when we use the 60 cycles position that will actually change the speed of the projector to between around 14 frames per second and 20 frames per second so we can set 16.666 frames per second quite easily very important that Okay, now here's the secret of how I get my telecine done. This is a 16mm lens, um, which as you can see is covered by bits of sellotape and all sorts, but it's a Bell & Howell um, Optimax lens, 2 inch lens, and the difference between this and a standard 8mm projector lens is the rear element is much much larger than it would be on a standard lens. And this is my very high-tech lens mount system. It's the inside of a toilet roll with a bit of sellotape around it to make it the right size. And my lens just pops in here and that goes into the lens barrel of the projector. Like so. As you can see it's a very very uh, technical this. And there we go. Okay, so this is the setup. We've got the camcorder pointing vaguely towards the lens barrel, and we've got our light on there. We've got everything hooked up to the computer monitor. As you can see, we can't really see a lot, so we need the last piece of high tech equipment, which is this little piece of paper that we're going to slip between the going to just slip that between the lens there and the shutter and that then gives us 
the correct exposure. Sorry, the screen savers just come on there. That's okay. So now you can see that I can monitor what's being recorded. Um, you might not be able to see this very clearly at the moment because the exposure setting on this camcorder might not be right. One thing you'll notice is that I'm doing this in daylight um, and I've got no extension tubes between the two lenses there's quite a bit of distance there between the two the exposure is being centre weighted so it's taking no notice of the outside conditions and I can just see there that I've got a little bit of a, uh, a hair come up on the picture at the bottom there which isn't really what we want but still this is just a demonstration and if you like I'll just show you the settings on the camcorder as you can see I'm on manual focus um, automatic white balance and at 1 50th of a second this is very important if you're in the UK this ensures that you get flicker free images and I'm doing this at f16 which I estimate to be the correct exposure for this piece of film so focusing can be done very easily by just pulling the lens in and out uh, which I'm just doing now to prove a point that's about spot on Sadly we've got this hair on the screen that's uh, making its presence felt and basically that's it.